Hello guys, uh, today I will show you how to get the most out of your uh, 5700 XT card. Uh, the card I'll be using today is Sapphire Nitro Plus, uh, the best uh, 5700 XT there is in my opinion. And uh, I will show you uh, two types of settings. Uh, first ones are the efficient ones for most efficiency and the other one is for most hash rate. Uh, but first, I will explain how to uh, mod the BIOS on this card uh, in HiveOS and using the uh, Red BIOS Editor and the More Power Tools. So the first thing you need to do is to download the BIOS from your card. You can go to your um, farm and then cards and then select the card uh, you want. Uh, in this case, I want 5700XT. And that's this one. You go download VBIOS and save to the farm's VBIOS storage and click download. It's good to have this BIOS in reserve. So when you have done this, you go to VBIOS ROM storage. And here, if you refresh, if you refresh, we go to the bio storage room. We can see that uh, uh, we can ha we have this bias here, and we go download. You can pick uh, any place where you want to save it. Let's put like um, SD. After we saved it. Um, so what we should do now is go to uh, Red BIOS Editor, press Load, uh, find the, the file we downloaded. It was called 5700 Mining Video. Open it. Go to VRAM Timings. Uh, here you, we will have either 1550 or just 1500, doesn't matter. Uh, click on 1550. And then you will find this value, the RAM time interval. You should take this value and multiply it by 3. We go to calculator, so 8835. Click OK. Then select, click here, Ctrl A, Ctrl C, and then just copy this to the all of these fields. Then click here, change the memory type to this one. Go again to 1550. See this value, it's the same as previous, so we can put again 835. Okay, again, Ctrl A, Ctrl C, Ctrl A, Ctrl V. So we paste this value here, and we go save. Um, let's Keep the original name plus model. And uh, we need to do one more thing. We go to more, uh, more power tools. We load the modded bias. And here we can change some settings. Uh, what we need to change is this memory, maximum memory. Let's put 1100, although uh, probably we will not be able to reach this. And let's put minimum voltage to 650 and 650. We can put the power limit to 180 just in case, so it doesn't change much here. Uh, there is nothing to change here. Fan, it's all okay. So let's save it to well. More power tools mod. Now we go back to uh, RedBS editor. We open PowerPlay. We load MPT. The we just created. It successfully loaded, and we save again this, and we can overwrite the one we have. So it saved, and now we can go back to the HiOS. We go add BIOS. Choose a file. We choose the file we just created, the ROM, open, you can give it some name, like uh, modded um, X 
Sixty. Uh, we upload the file here. Then it is very simple. We go to again find the card that we want to flash. It's this one. Select the new bias. Find the bias. Reboot after flash. Force flash into ignore security. And then just flash the card. It takes um, a few moments for the card to be flashed and for the system to reboot. And uh, that is it. Uh, that is the part on uh, modding the BIOS. Now let's see what we can do uh, with overclock and what we can get with this card. So the card should be flashed and the uh, rig should be rebooted. As it says, yes, round flashing. Okay, now reboot. So let's give it a few moments to reboot. And first I will show you the, the efficient settings that I have. So basically a 55 mega hash rate at 75 watts. Uh, these are the settings. So you should keep core clock at 1280. Uh, core voltage here is 693, uh, but uh, that's not the actual core voltage. Usually Team Red Miner changes this, so you have to check the actual one that it uses. Memory con controller to 725, memory clock to 195, memory voltage 1280. Uh, we limit the SOC frequency to 950 and SOC uh, voltage maximum to 1000. And the rig should have restarted by now. Yes. So if we uh, go to the miner. With these settings I showed, uh, you get uh, 55 mega hash rate at uh, 75, 76 power. Uh, as you can see in the actual settings, the voltage is 693, but the miner is using 681. And this depends on the card. I don't know why this happens, this discrepancy, but it happens. So you should make sure that in the miner is 681. Uh, for me, it is 12 millivolts less than what I put here. So for you, it might be different. Just make sure that in the miner is this voltage. And uh, that is it. This is pretty efficient, 75 watts. Uh, the temperatures are looking good. Uh, fan only 20%. Uh, this card is really, really nice. Uh, I love Sapphire. And they did a great work with, uh, with this one. Um, now for the... To get more hash rate, uh, we will put 1370 here. Uh, core voltage 757 uh, memory controller we need to bump this up memory clock clock as well memory voltage to the max uh, remove the soc limitations and apply this should get us uh, four more uh, mega hash rate so around 59 but the power consumption will increase as well. So it basically depends how much do you pay for your electricity, if these settings are good for you or not. Um, so yeah, we are around 94 uh, watts, so 20 more watts. And as we can see, the hash rate is going up. Uh, these are pretty stable um, settings, uh, at least for me. Uh, it works uh, really well without any problems. So maybe you can go a little lower on the core voltage and save some more uh, watts, but um, uh, me personally, uh, I cannot do that. And make sure that uh, ETH configuration is in B mode. It, it should be by default in B mode in the latest uh, Team Red Miner. So I suggest you download the latest uh, Team Red Miner. Uh, the, the memory temperature goes a little bit up, but that is fine. And as you can see, 59 uh, hash rate, and it, this was running uh, before for a day or two without any invalid hash, invalid uh, shares or any problems.
Uh, now I've seen online that uh, in Phoenix Miner, with some settings, you can get over 60, but uh, you get like 30% of invalid shares. So I don't think that's worth it, or you should use it. The Team Red Miner is the best for AMD cards anyway. And um, if you're really, really lucky with your card, maybe you can push to 60. I will try to uh, to do that now. Uh, it's not very stable, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but let's see if if we can get something out of it here. But I think this is pretty good, this is in a level with uh, 3070, uh, which is just amazing, and the power consumption is really low, and this is Micron memory card with Samsung, it's a bit different, if you guys are interested I can do a Samsung video. Uh, but uh, Samsung is not that common uh, in these cards. It's usually micro memory. So it's it's increasing. It's uh, 59.24, 25. Not that much. Let's let's push this thing. Oops, <laughs> that's a bit too much. Let's see if we can reach 60. But anyway, I've seen some uh, micro cards and I have the, some of them myself uh, that uh, have the higher power consumption, at least the one that is shown in, in, in the software. And I ordered some hardware uh, devices to actually measure the con consumption of each card individually and the riser. And I will make a video about it to determine uh, how much is the actual consumption of, of the card. And if the software uh, values are good indicator or not. Uh, we get a little bit more. Um, it doesn't seem to be that much. Uh, I guess that these higher clocks require... more core clock and let's put uh, 1500 here this will draw a lot of power but let's see if we can make it work come on okay let's see what happens maybe the card dies Maybe not. Okay, 59.5, 59.50, 59 59.98, 59 and 60. 60.27. Now it's consumption over 100 watts because I just put uh, 843 milliwatts for the core. It can probably be less than that, but I just wanted to see how far can we go. Okay, let's see, let's see what will make the system completely unstable can we reach 61 and remember this is team red miner uh, not phoenix miner so what you see here is what you will get in the pool more or less let's see 990 will it die it's still going up. Okay, close to 61. Uh, let's see if I can get even 1000. That would be amazing. I mean, I love this card and it's absolute beauty of a card. But I don't think it can sustain. 1000 here but anyway um, uh, this is the video i wanted to make today so please subscribe and like the video and i'll leave uh, a link to my discord channel in the and i think the card is that in the description yeah the card is that so 990 is the most i can get with this so it's almost 61 hash rate I will leave the Discord uh, link in the description, and uh, if you want me to do any other video, please let me know. 
I hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions, uh, you have put them in the comment section. I will answer them, of course. Uh, bye bye, guys.